Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Time check, it's around 7.45 p.m. I still have some light left, so I'm just gonna show you my SUV camping setup. So we're going to Colorado in a few hours, early morning. And so from Houston to Colorado, we're gonna stop at Amarillo, Texas, but we're not gonna camp. We will we're not gonna camp there. We're just gonna sleep sleep for a few hours in the car. My Ford Expedition XLT EL EL is important. EL means extended length. So I said we're gonna sleep in the car in the SUV. Bam. So I was asking my wife if she wanted the air bed or the foam beds. So she said uh, it's more comfortable to use the foam beds than the air bed. Okay, this is just in case the temperature drops in Colorado. Okay, um, sleeping bag. So it's just me, my wife, and my youngest son. So. He's gonna be sitting in the second row once we arrive there we're gonna fold the second row as it is we can sleep here uh, I'm the the longest person uh, I'll take the longest part so my, my son's gonna sleep be sitting over there I can actually put the seat the second row seat here on this side but uh, uh, for traveling purposes this is our bed setup and the only thing missing are the three uh, bags for for our clothes okay all our camping gear are inside the cargo box Yakima skybox I bought that at Facebook marketplace I think I, I just paid 40 or 50 dollars why because it has a crack and I fix it that's why the paint is like that but I fixed it it's not leaking anymore okay so this is the second row my son is gonna be sitting here uh, cooler is gonna be there and food is gonna be here that's it that's my uh, power power bag uh, it's a uh, 500 watt hour power bank. Yeah, I think it's on sale right now at Amazon uh, at around $199 or less than $200 with a coupon. I paid $280 for that. I'm still thinking if I'm gonna get another one. Oh! Broom and dust pan. Okay, step. That attaches here okay it has a capacity of 300 pounds I am 187 189 uh, flashlight and fuel additive if you have a Ford you need this otherwise your fuel additive will just spill on the floor okay center console this is my passport to national parks still a lot that i when was the last time that i went to i think I, yeah yeah i'm just gonna show you yeah. hey uh, where is my last trip here you go went to bryce zion uh, arches okay and screen for the windows these are magnetic uh, on the out outside the uh, part or the borders they have magnets um, inflatable pillow gloves small first aid kit I download 
I downloaded my songs in the USB old school so I don't have to pay subscriptions for the music and what else oh let me show you the content of the skybox I'm gonna be using the uh, Napier SUV tent propane foldable bucket what else oh fishing gear and I bought a foldable fishing gear inside the house so I have yet to put it here um, oh these are for my car stuff uh, jump starter battery pack tire inflator uh, and so and so forth tarp both for for underneath and over the tent just in case it rains this is my uh, shower tent toilet tent there's a shower in the campsite so that's for our toilet basically for number one this is our folding uh, toilet from Walmart just double bag and I have a cat litter where we cook uh, my battery powered fan table chairs that's it so initially I was wondering if I need to put the extra hitch cargo box here I think everything's everything that we need is already here I don't need to bring the hitch cargo box water is life this is the cat litter uh, food is gonna be in the middle and cooler is gonna be here and this I bought this on Amazon it's a magnetic screen that you put on top of the uh, sunroof so I can open it when we sleep here and bugs won't go in I think that's it oh emergency tools of course extra butane Retain toe strap because we, my friend and I, plan to camp in Padre Island National Seashore. First aid kit this is a home built first aid kit with my youngest son. We put all the stuff here. This is watertight. That's it. I think we're right. Okay, dishwashing soap, of course, tire pressure. Uh, device for you to check with high pressure and hand soap. Uh, these are fairy lights. I don't know if you're gonna use it, but it's there. And of course, uh, uh, rechargeable inflatable lanterns. Bought, fifth, bought this for 15 bucks. I don't know how many camping. Uh, uh, that I went to using this got my money's worth on that and that's it that's it I'm still I still have my my old-fashioned GPS just in case if there's no cell signal and I can't use Waze okay so like I said in a couple of hours see you Colorado we're going to Mesa Verde, that's uh, Cliff Dwellings, that's our last stop, but first stop is in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Ready to go, I'm ready to sleep here, <laughs> I am ready to sleep here. So normally I get 17 to 18 miles per gallon on the expedition but with the stuff with the cargo box uh, maybe 16 lucky if I get 17 low of 15 but I'm really glad that I have so much space 
that I don't have to rent another car or tow another trailer to carry our stuff. So that's it guys. It's getting dark. Uh, see you in Colorado. Oh, maybe in, uh, I'm going to vlog in Amarillo, Texas. See you on our next stop. Thanks for watching. Bye.